Next, we have the payment of the claims, and we have $215,383.19 and an additional $680.50. Looks like it came in a little late, so I can't do that math in my head. $215,000 plus $680. <laughs> That's, the That's right. <laughs> Last night, Sophia asked me if I thought that she could pick me up if she really tried. And I said, I weigh 250 pounds. Do you know how much that is? She said, I'm looking at it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of yeah. similar comments yeah. that I have to deal with. All right. Uh, did you have any other insights? I did not. I know that, um, let's see, it's June. So coming up here, June or July, we'll have a, a few more bond payments coming in, so things will probably get a little heftier gotcha. in the next couple of meetings. But other than that, it's just normal stuff. Okay. Uh, any questions from the board? No. Nope. Any questions from the public? All right. We have a motion to accept the payment of the claims. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. Uh, I don't believe we have any blight claims uh, for this meeting. So we'll move on to the city attorney report. Uh, Mr. Kern, do you have anything for us? None at this time. Uh, okay. Maybe here in a little bit. Depends on what gets brought up. Okay. All right. So moving on, we'll go to the electrical tests. We have electrical tests in for uh, Jesse Green and Jeffrey Huntsman, Jr. So the uh, two scores were a 95.5% and a 97%. Uh, let's see who we got the 90, 95.5 was Jesse Green, and then so that would make uh, Jeffrey Huntsman Jr. the 97 percent. Uh, yeah, I think that was just it. They're all the 2002, but this is just was probably printed in 2016. So I guess not a lot to. This one missed two, and that one missed three, and that's it. Yeah. Nice work. Yeah. So, is there any questions from the public? No questions from the board. Do I have a motion to accept the electrical test for uh, under under unfinished business? I don't believe we have anything under unfinished business. So we'll move on to new business. Kevin Palmer with road closure requ uh, request. And police escort request for the Miami County prayer walk on Sunday, August 26th. Uh, is Mr. Palmer here? Uh, Chief Meeks, do you, have you seen this? Do you know this? I have not. No. Okay. Let's see. Uh, churches of Miami County are coming together for a prayer walk on Sunday, August 26th. We will meet at the Riverwalk Park at 4 p.m. for a picnic. We plan to walk at 5.30 p.m. from the Riverwalk Park to the high school. We would request to have Broadway Street closed during the walk. We would also request a police escort. The purpose is for the church to make a unified statement that the church is alive in Miami County and that we believe there is hope for the hopeless. Um, so part of that's 19. Um, I don't know uh, if uh, necessarily a road closure is required or just a police escort, just a walk. I don't know if you have any thoughts on that, any of our public safety officers, what we should do there. Or? Yeah, I kind of equated, I guess, to the uh, baseball, baseball parade circuit, or the, the little league oh, okay. parade, so never an issue with that. Gotcha. It goes really well, so uh, I don't see any issues with it, especially that time of the day, that time of night, I think it'll be fine. Okay. All right. Um, traffic. No. Yeah. These guys. You guys just go in front, behind, don't you? Correct. Yeah. And even something like that. I, I mean, I don't know how many people we anticipate, but it'll just be one side. We can usually try to stay. We can go against the curb if we wanted to there and kind of make sure the flow of traffic can still exist well. Too. Yeah. And that the state sent us that memo saying anything three hours or less, they don't hmm. even want to be contacted. So. Okay. Sounds good. Um, any other questions from the board? Any thoughts or concerns? Okay. Any
any comments or concerns from the public? Okay. Um, do I have a motion to accept uh, the Miami County Prayer Walks request for a police escort? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Because we're just going to do a police escort. That's great, Mike. Yes. Okay. All right. Next, we have Julie Shorts with a road closure request for the annual black block party on June 24th. Um, this is the block party where I live on Fifth Street. This is our 30th year of having this block party. So, John and Julie Shorts, uh, some of you folks might uh, have had either of them in school. They're retired school teachers, very active in the community. Um, they've been putting together this, uh, this block party for, like I said, 30 years. So, um, I told them I would represent their interest here. Cause been going there for a number of years. Um, I think they have a couple pictures and you can tell they're brown nosing because they, they, yeah. they have a picture of all the all the folks that were there the year that I ran with all the career for mayor t-shirts on. <laughs> Rigged. Yeah. So um, it's from 11.30 to 3 on Sunday. Um, is there any questions from the board? There's been a problem in 30 it. years. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. <clears throat> um, Chief uh, Hawk or Chief Meeks, anything to add? Okay. Never an issue. I've never heard. I don't think we ever had a call there. So. Yeah. Except for that yellow. <laughs> and that yeah. Right. Right. That, yeah. Yeah. It gets bad there. <laughs> um, okay. Any other uh, question or comment from the public? None other from the board? Okay. Do I have a motion to accept uh, Julie Short's uh, request for uh, road closure? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Motion passes. Uh, next we have uh, Lowell Maxwell from the Salvation Army in Miami County with a road block uh, request for November 2nd and 3rd for their Red Kettle fundraising campaign. And let's see. Take a look and see what we have in our packet. Um, request to uh, for road closure at Main Street and Miami Street on the 2nd and 3rd November uh, to receive donations for the Red Kettles. Um, I think this is kind of like what they've done before, they're standing in the road, like with the firefighters with the boot. Um, I don't know, Tish, if they give you any more details. Um, they not. Okay. I know I was uh, at the Salvation Army meeting when we were talking about this, so. So you're the man with the details. I guess, if I can remember them. <laughs> yeah. No, I think, like you said, it's just like the build a boot drive. Mm -hmm. the, Probably is just it? like we did for St. Vincent and Paul. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Chief Meeks. I know Mr. Maxwell made contact with me last week and was asking what the protocol was for that, so he has been given that too as far as the best and right. not to stop cars, but if someone rolls down their window, you're allowed to approach that car. So he gotcha. does know the protocol that exists for this, these past events that we've done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I do recall from the meeting too, they were um, looking for those reflective vests uh, for this event too, so I know they're preparing in that way. Um, was there any issues with the Salvation Army's drive there? I, mean, I know I stopped and was able to talk to him for a little bit. Other than getting rained on, I think they did pretty good. So, okay. Is there any uh, question or comment from the board? No. Um, our public safety officers, any, anything else to add? Okay. Anything from the public? All right. Uh, do I have a motion uh, to accept the Salvation Army's request for a road uh, roadblock uh, on November 2nd and 3rd for the Red Kettle fundraising? So moved. Second. So, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Next, we have uh, Todd Wolf to discuss a request made to him by Recovery Matters. Todd, can you want to talk to us about that? They were April 16th. They came before the board on that walk from Paul Richards. She called me Monday and uh, 
somebody else kind of got stuck in charge here mm -hmm. there. So I was unaware that they were going to set up booths at the courthouse. They didn't let us know that on the 16th. So they wanted to block Broadway off, but I advised them, no, we're not going to do that. I, I would rather just I'd rather just go down there in the morning, throw out cones, parking spots. What date did they tell you? That's for tomorrow. Okay. I thought you said the 16th. Yeah, the 16th of April is when they came in to the Board of Works. And we set it up then. And I thought, were you guys going to just sit on side streets? Or See, I don't know what where it was. I, all I knew is we were supposed yeah. to help them with an escort from Fort right. Richards to the courthouse. Okay. And then I knew they were talking about setting up just two or three booths. I thought, I yeah, guess okay. I thought it was going to be on the Main Street side. but. At no point did she ever talk about road closures to me. Or right, I told right. her to block the yeah, traffic. I advised her we wouldn't close roads, but I will go up and block off, cone off some spots up here. That way if they get, they said they were thinking 300 people would show up, I don't know. But if they, they can kind of come off the sidewalk a little bit if they have to. We just gotcha. cone that off so there's no vehicles sitting there. But it, If I remember right, we did advise them if they wanted to do um, some things at the courthouse that they'd have to talk to the commissioners. Yeah. And we typically do bring that up if people are talking yeah, about doing things know. there. As far as I know, because she kind of got thrown into the into it at the last minute, right. that that's been done. Okay. So uh, that's the only concern I had was, I guess I didn't realize that they thought 300 people were going to show up. I was kind of, wow, it's going to be quite a crowd walking down the yeah. sidewalk to Maine. But there's enough sidewalk there, they'll be okay, I think. I just wanted to let everybody know that it might be a little bit more people than we thought. So yeah. Well, that would be a... Is the sidewalk's right in front of the um, courthouse that you're talking about, yeah. where the booths will be? Yeah. So I'll, I'll run in town tomorrow morning and then come that off for them. And then I'll stick around while they're walking up and see how things go. Okay. So we're just going to be cutting off some parking spaces? Yeah. People, that'd be an unprecedented success. Yeah. So, the uh, assumption is they'll have the booths up there before the 9 a.m. walk. Mm -hmm. So, I'll be up here early enough to see what's happening. Gotcha. That's all I have. Okay. Um, do you want uh, board permission to block off those parking spots? No, because it's important. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. So, do we need to take any action? so much on the weekends and help out so I really appreciate it all right so next we have uh, uh, Chief Meeks with a request for approval for the approved police department standard operating procedures check talk to us about that Mike yes first off I want to apologize for the way I'm dressed um, as you all know the well, at least as you know and, and the, the building's been a little bit hot the last few days and so I dressed down and I just didn't get a chance to get home and get properly dressed so right I first don't off, know if that is standard that. operating procedure for <laughs> we're going to change that we're hoping for approval tonight that oh so this is the this example the standard. okay yes, yes we're hoping yes gotcha. we're uh, looking. I don't think I have a whole lot to say about the SOPs um, I know that it, this has been quite a few months in the work in the works for us for the police department we did make some changes nothing I know I forwarded these two the three of you here recently I think maybe Dustin as well um, nothing of anything um, of significance that changed you know uh, the discipline policy is staying the same I think that's one that's been questioned in the past a little bit but um, we, we removed some SOPs that no longer exist because we no longer have a motorcycle so there's no reason to have a motorcycle um, standard operating procedure we also used to have an entry team we no longer have that so that's been removed as well um, I think the sick policies were removed as, as well because those change every it seems like every year we, we maybe try to revamp or come up with something different so I didn't feel like it needed to be an SOP because it's basically a city policy not a policy particular to the police department so those are some of the main changes I think the th things that we were able to remove out of there um, but I just wanted to see if any of the three of you or, or five of you maybe even had questions regarding what we did or anything else that we changed within the policies um, yeah I, I haven't uh, looked into that in depth let me say 
Uh, so I uh, appreciate reading. appreciate you giving yeah, me a real good reading. <laughs> yeah. There was not a lot of red. <laughs> there really wasn't. Right. So yeah. thank you for sending that to us ahead of time. Yeah. Um, I don't really have any questions. Does the board have? No. Yeah. Nope. Thank, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, is there any questions from the public? Any comment? And there's no further questions from the board? All right. Uh, do I have a motion to accept the uh, standard operating procedures for the police department? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Next we have uh, uh, Chief Hawk with some requests. Uh, Chief, um, did you want to start with uh, rent changes or which ones do you want to start with? Yes. Okay. Uh, we have two rate changes uh, due to guys retiring, and um, those would be uh, Brian Edwards from captain to assistant chief. Uh, Brian was captain of um, code enforcement, and uh, that would be effective June the 1st. And then our second one will be Jeremy, Jeremy Heilman from training officer to captain of training. And uh, neither one could be here this evening because Brian's father-in-law passed away, so the funeral is today. And then Jeremy is on vacation out of town today, so I apologize. Um, is there any questions from the board on the changes rank? Chief, so, is Jeremy Heilman's um, rank change starting June 1st as well? Yeah. Okay. Is there any uh, question or comment from the public? Okay. Um, we can take it one at a time. Uh, do I have a motion to accept the change of rank for Jeremy Heilman from training officer to captain training? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So, as approved. Um, do I have a motion uh, for the change of rank from for Brian Edwards to from captain to assistant chief? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. So, please send them our congratulations. Yes, congratulations to both of them. All right. Uh, next, uh, says on here, we have a, uh, um, a, a request to hire. Correct. Um, Food Fire Department Pension Board is recommending the hiring of Evan Kaufman. He'll be replacing Mike Burr, which is retiring officially now. Uh, Evan has completed all the necessary steps to be considered for a probationary firefighter. Um, he's completed his one and two, and he's also currently a certified EMT. Uh, his official hire date, uh, which will be changed, I have July, June the 4th here, and that is now June the 13th. Gotcha. His first day. All right. And he'll serve as a probationary period uh, for one year. So he comes from the stacks. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, is there any questions uh, for the chief or uh, Mr. Kaufman from the board? Ooh, let's come up with Are you a local guy? Rowan. Rowan. Nice. Good deal. Uh, welcome. Nice. Um, <laughs> presumably. <laughs> 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 Any um, other questions or? All right. Thank you. Um, real quick, uh, while we're talking about the uh, retirement for uh, Mike Burt, uh, we were given a letter from uh, Mr. Burke uh, to the City of Peru and the Fire Department. I'd like to thank the City of Peru um, and Peru Fire Department and all the emergency and all the emergency services for my years as a career as a firefighter. Over the past 25 years, I have gained many friendships and memories. My career was interesting, rewarding, and fulfilling. Uh, please accept June 3rd, 2018, as my retirement day. Thank you again, I'm Michael Burke. So, it's a nice letter from. Um, and with that being said, is there any uh, public comment? No? All right. Do I have a motion to accept the uh, uh, hire of uh, Evan Kaufman uh, to replace uh, the retiree Mike Burke? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 
right. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yes. Congratulations. All right. Um, next on our agenda is uh, uh, a termination request for uh, Fireman Scott West from uh, Chief Hawk. Is there anything you want to? Bye.